Hi, I'm Laura Sexauer with Spiritual Artistry in Motion. Welcome to the first video in my series for Transformation Tuesday. This video will focus on meditation, so let's get started. The body is really miraculous in the things that it can do to keep us alive. There's this hormone called cortisol. It's often referred to as the stress hormone because our body is really flooded with this hormone when we experience fight or flight or when we're facing a life and death situation. It's just uh, we need our senses to be raised and be able to handle uh, whatever's coming at us, okay? So the thing is, we don't often come in contact with th situations that are life and death, but we can get stressed out at work and that same hormone, that same system is activated inside of us. And so our bodies respond as though we're in a life and death situation, but it's not true. And so our brain gets tricked and those hormones get flooded into our system. So while the hormone isn't bad, it's just that we need to find tools that can help alleviate sometimes the symptoms that are brought on by a rush of cortisol that isn't quite necessary for our survival. There are studies that suggest that meditation is a really powerful tool to help release some of that cortisol or at least reduce the symptoms that occur because of a rush of cortisol in our system. Some studies suggest that you can have improved sleep, uh, less anxiety, having a greater sense of love and unity for yourself and the people around you, and therefore reducing some depression symptoms. There's also studies that suggest that meditation is very helpful in recovery from addictions, as well as reducing the amount of pain we're experiencing regardless of the situation. So with all of that wonderful news, why is it that more of us aren't doing meditation? A lot of people uh, are intimidated by the idea of meditation. I'll hear people say, oh my goodness, someone asked me to do a minute of meditation and my brain was just going so crazy, I couldn't stop my brain and I couldn't meditate. We probably have all experienced something like that at one point or another. So what do we do? if our mind is so active that we can't seem to reach this state of perfection that we see other people in. Well, the truth is that the perfection that we see other people in when they're meditating is not perfection. It's just different tools. People are finding different tools to tap into what they need from the meditative experience. So meditation boils down to this. It's a concentration practice. It's a practice of focus. There are many, many types of meditation, but one of the basic structures is that it is a form of focus and concentration. While the thought of completely emptying our mind and becoming one with the universe for one minute might seem a little intimidating, the prospect of focusing on something for one minute, that seems doable. That, that can be something I can work on. Here are some of the ways that I meditate in order to allow all of the thought chatter to subside just enough. And by subside, I don't mean we're getting rid of it or we're pushing all the thoughts away. It's just allowing the thoughts to have something to come together and focus on. And when that happens, think about it. Okay, we got all this stuff happening here, but when we bring it to focus, what's happening out there? It's a little bit stiller. So bringing something into focus allows a little bit of that to subside. So one thing you can do is focus on your breath. You can count breaths. There's a technique where you inhale for the count of three, hold your breath for the count of three, and then exhale for the count of four. When we allow that exhale to be longer than the inhale, it triggers that parasympathetic nervous system that allows our mind and our whole system to really realize, oh, I'm not in danger, I'm safe. Because think about it, if you are in danger, your exhales are not very long. You're inhaling, 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 getting that, you know, getting yourself worked up, ready to fight, ready to survive. But when your exhale is longer, it's a signal, oh yes, things are safe, I am safe. It allows that cortisol to lower. So you can inhale for three, hold for three, exhale for four. If counting your breaths isn't for you, you can also bring in a mantra. Mantra is just repeating of these words, repeating of these words of love and comfort to yourself. And so what you can do is say, breathing in, I know that I am breathing in. Breathing out, I know that I am breathing out. Breathing in, I know that I am breathing in. There's a butterfly. Breathing out, I know that I am breathing out. And so if your mind starts to drift, just bring yourself back to those words as you're inhaling and exhaling. You can also say, I breathe in love. 
I offer my love out to the world. I breathe in love. I offer my love out to the world. So by using those words, you're taking your energy away from all the thoughts that are happening and bringing them into the act of mentally saying the words as you breathe. Other forms of meditation, especially if you feel like your mind is too busy, is to listen to a guided meditation. So you can find a lot of those on YouTube where you hear someone talking, maybe they're saying, and we're walking through a forest and then we're sitting under a tree. And the act of like seeing that image in your mind can help bring your focus into line. I was actually listening to a guided meditation before I filmed this video. I went up to the gym and I was on a treadmill, put in my earbuds, closed my eyes and held onto the treadmill because you know I don't want to go falling off and I listened to a guided meditation that really uh, brought me back into my body and allowed me to ground down so there's no right or wrong way to do it you can focus on body awareness maybe bringing all your attention to your hips or all your attention to your chest feeling your heartbeat that's one thing I was doing just a moment ago while I was calming down getting myself grounded to do this video I felt like I was a little nervous, so I closed my eyes and I sat here and I felt my heartbeat and it felt a little fast and I was just becoming aware of it, bringing my focus to it and breathing and allowing that heartbeat to slow down. And guess what? That's meditation. That's bringing my mind into focus. That's allowing the rest to fall away. You can also listen to music and see how it makes you feel and then focus on the feeling. If a song really inspires you, makes you feel all fiery and, and sexy and awesome, then you can think about those feelings and meditate on those feelings. So pick a song that uplifts you. You obviously don't want to meditate on lower vibrational energies. You don't want to listen to a really sad song that depresses you and you know meditate on that because really what we're giving our focus to is expanding in our lives. So you always want to meditate on something that you feel in some way uplifts or helps you to evolve. You can also listen to music and dance. There is, you know, physical meditation. Like I said, when I was on the treadmill, my body was moving while I was meditating. It was helping me to meditate into my body. So if you want to listen to music and feel yourself move, that's meditation. There's also a walking meditation. If dancing is not for you, you can walk. You can, like we were counting our breaths, you can count your steps. You can bring your focus to how the ground feels on your feet. There's so many different ways to meditate. So what I would offer is that if you feel that somebody else has meditation figured out and you're wondering what's wrong with me, why can't I meditate when they seem to have it so figured out, it might just be that they found a tool of meditation that connects with their system. We aren't here to attain perfection, we're just here to become a little bit more still and peaceful with the life that we're given. So I hope that's helpful to you. I will see you next Tuesday for the next video on Transformation Tuesday. Go out and send some love into the world, people.